guess since we're covering every single possible topic, <laughs> let me ask the biggest one, the unanswerable one, from the perspective of alien intelligence or from the perspective of religious studies or from the perspective of just Diana, what do you think is the meaning of this existence, of uh, this life of ours? Yes, okay, so, all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I have to, my f philosophical training as uh, undergrad always makes me think about like what's the assumption in your your question the que there's an assumption there it's like there is a meaning okay that's the what assumption what do you mean by meaning what do you mean by life <laughs> yeah you define the terms <laughs> no no but listen okay i'll answer your question i'm just going to say that there's this assumption that we should have meaning to life okay well maybe we, sh we shouldn't maybe it's just all random okay however i believe that it's not and in my opinion on the meaning of life in my opinion is in intrinsic I enjoy living. I want to live. Sometimes I don't enjoy living. And when I don't enjoy living, I change my circumstances. So it's intrinsic. And I think that certain things are intrinsic and like love, love of your children is kind of, um, well, it's actually physiological, but it's also intrinsic. It's beautiful. You know, there's something about it that that is intrinsically um, desirable. So I, I think the meaning of life is like that, intrinsically desirable. So it's something that just is, is born inside you based on uh, what makes you feel good? No, that's hedonism. That's... <laughs> so but what, where do you place love? Love love of your children? Yeah, so basically, um, love of your children, by the way, is not always easy because they do things that they shouldn't do. You have to discipline them. That's one of the worst things about parenthood to me is disciplining my children. I don't like to do that. I love them. Um, so a lot of things that I do that I feel are good are not easy. So there's an intrinsic sense that like, okay, let's take um, animals. Okay, so we have dogs and cats. Okay, so you might not, but I do. I've, I told you about them. <laughs> can, can you, can you uh, share their names? If I share their names, I will share their names. Okay, so we have a cat and it has red fluffy hair. And so we called it Trump. Well, when we got our dog, we figured that it needed a companion. So we called it Putin. So we have Trump and Putin. This is the greatest <laughs> pet names of all time. I'm sorry. This is, and uh, <laughs> maybe we'll be able to share a picture of your cat. Cause that is just awesome. It is really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Very photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, is this something that's uh, whether lo uh, w whether we're talking about love or the intrinsic meaning? Do you think that's something that's really special to humans, or if there is intelligent alien civilizations out there, do you think that's something that they possess as well, um, maybe in different forms, like whatever this thing that meaning is this intr intrinsic drive that we have do you think that's just a property of life of some level of complexity that we will see that everywhere in this universe in my opinion and this is just my opinion um i i do think that it is but i also think that it can take different forms so if there is like a uh, think of gravity right gravity kind of like makes stuff stick to it right it like, attracts stuff well, what does love do that does that too, right? So people who are, we call them charismatic. Charism, it means love. Charism means light and love. So a charismatic person is a person who attracts people to them like the sun does, right? Like, you know, so, um, so I think that whatever this property is that's intrinsic is like gravity and most likely takes different forms in different types of life forms. Yeah, I can't wait until, like, uh, Albert Einstein type of figure in the future will discover that love is, in fact, one of the fundamental forces of physics. That would be cool. 